We're going to work on the waistband now. Trying to get it lined up. It should be flat. And again, put underneath the serger. Find a pedal on the floor. And then you just simply go across it. Now what I didn't remind to tell you was this is back right side to right side. Now the reason for that is when you get through, you turn it. You might want to use something to kind of don't use a screwdriver, it might tear it. Anyway, you use something to kind of push it out. You come to this side and you do the same thing. But before we do that, we're also going to sew this thing to give it some extra strength. So with that said, we come to the sewing machine. Turn the charger off for right now. And we get under it. And with a sewing machine, you sew once, then you push the reverse button, and then you go again. Making sure this thread doesn't get wound up around it, because it will stop you in the Tear the thread or break the thread, or even maybe tear the cloth. Okay. Now, I have it, you don't want to get into is just pulling it. Which I have a bad habit with that myself. I've broken it a little bit through the years. But you got to remember, I taught myself how to sew. So I learned a lot of bad habits. So when I got to school, there was a lot of bad habits to get rid of. And as I said, you take this and you just kind of push it out. Now this would be the same way you would do a collar. Now you're going to want to take your iron, make sure you have it lined up nice and neat, and you're going to want to iron it down. Which, we may not have no juice because I unplugged the iron. Had to get the sewing machine to work. And we'll leave you with no plugs. Okay, and then you do the same thing over here. Seems to be still hot enough to put it down. Okay, this is where it gets a little hairy. And for this, we're going to have to definitely plug the arm back in. So we we'll reach down here, take the sewing machine out, put the iron back on. Now, folks, this is the waistband that we're working on. As you can see, this is the inside of it. But we sewed it on the inside. See? There's your seam. And we flip it over into itself like that. Okay? This makes the seam. Now, we're going to have to, or it makes a, not a seam, but a nice, clear looking outside seam. Now if you wanted to you could sew a thread across her but not need it if you let do it right. Now we want to make sure that this is straight and we want to start running the iron on it. giving it a nice flat piece on both sides. One day in one of our trainings, I will show you my portfolio. Right now, it's very late and this has to get done for tomorrow morning. We hope you enjoying this. Uh, we've never 
made something in front of somebody like this before. I'm actually having a little bit of fun with it. And a little frustration at the time, sometimes. <laughs> well, folks, uh, I like the design, but I ain't too crazy about sewing. But in order to make your creations come to life, you have to sew them because nobody else is going to sew them for you unless you got a sewing factory. And there you have your waistband. Okay, our next thing we're going to do is we have to put a seam on the side of the skirt. I didn't mean to throw the cloth in front of the camera. I thought I'd hide from you. Nah, I ain't going to do that there thing. Okay, again, we want to do a little different situation here. This is going to be a half seam. Then I find something to measure with here. This is going to be a half seam. As you can see, a half. We're going to fold it under. Not burn the fingers. Because there again, doesn't feel good and I have done that before as you can hear it's awful hot and it's really too hot to even hardly touch the fabric but it has to be hot to make this fabric lay down Have a hard time getting it to go to sleep. It don't want to go to sleep. My wife said I have the same problem. Okay, we just keep folding it down. Folding it down. And folding it down. Make sure it's nice and hot so it stays down. And the heat is hot. As you can see, my finger jumped. My wife is cracking up over here. She's trying to do video and watch me crack up too. I'll tell you what, she's got a job. She has got a job. Okay, from here, we're going to fold this one more time. This time, we're going to do it... at an inch. This gives us a nice flat seam for the skirt itself. Plus the fact that at this point it is very big on top. It would have swallowed my wife right now. Okay. So we're going to go over another inch. This will make it smaller. Now this may cause a problem with our waistband. We could have it too big. In that case, we'll have to cut it down and start over. But we won't know that till we get this done. Now that we've got this done, we have to see if we got a sewing machine. No, we have to plug it in again. Okay, so for that standpoint, we will unplug the serger. Hopefully I unplug the serger. No, I unplug the iron. Too many plugs. Okay, we got the sewing machine. Okay, we're all back in business again. Oh, no, we aren't. We got too many plugs still. I think this is the iron. Sounds like it plugged itself in. Okay, we're back in business. All right. If I can get my video person to come over, we are going to top stitch the skirt. Now, 
I'm going to turn this over on the side. If you'll notice, I'm going to catch the outer edge of it. So we're going to probably put it about that mark right there. And hopefully get the cords off the pedal so it will work right. And then we're going to slowly catch that as it goes down the edge. We don't want to wrinkle it. We want to keep it nice and flat. Sewing machine looks cool. It's got a feed dog on it. Which is basically something that catches the fabric and runs it through there. And we got off a little bit. So we're going to have to get back online again here. There is a reason we're doing this. We are doing this for the reason of we have to get it to have a nice edge on it so when it's turned over on a wrap around skirt it will look like and we have a thread coming up we don't know where it's coming from we may have ran out of thread no we didn't that can happen too, folks. We can run out of thread. And again, you backstitch. Backstitch holds it in place. Don't do like I do in full threads. Okay. Now let's look at our work and see what we got here. First thing is don't step on the tail in your skirt where it tears. I lost my video person. <laughs> and yes, folks, we did run out of thread. We have no thread. Just pulled out on me. Okay, so now we have to show you how to reload the machine. No, it does have thread. What happened is the thread broke. Why it broke, I have no idea. So we're going to go back in. Take it down again. I think we're going to pull it over a little bit. Let it get a little deeper stitch. Okay. Now this may come out bad because of the situation of we got to sew it again. So we'll just do it to the best we can because it really isn't going to show that much anyway. Is it the proper way to do it? No, it is not. And because of the time element that is involved right now, get this done. I don't have time to sit here and pull it out. So we are still in good shape here. We got thread going. At least we hope we do. We're keeping it nice and taut. My thread is probably looking pretty bad. We're hoping that this will probably be on the underside of it. This would be good if it is, but we don't know if it will be or not. Okay, there you go. Again, keeping your sewing machine at a weld is a good thing. Okay, now let's see if we have thread in here this time. Yes, we got thread this time. How bad did it turn out? Well, I see it could have ran off a little bit. Okay, then again, we want to iron it again. Now remember, this was a half inch 
to get rid of the raw seam. As you can see, it's a little off, but it gets the job done. If we were really, really wanting to do this right, it would take a lot more time with it. But it is like 1 a.m. in the morning, and we're still making this skirt. So we have to take shortcuts, which is not recommended in sewing. So we are just getting the job done tonight. When I do start regular sewing tutorials, we will be doing everything right to the T. I myself probably will not like that because I just don't like doing all the extra stuff. But for teaching purposes, we have to do it right. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Try not to burn the table. We got a little bit off there. There again, this is just a seam that goes underneath, so it's not a big deal. I'm just going to run it down that. Maybe put a little steam to it. There you go. Just makes this nice and hot. Now something you may want to do is cut this edge off to where you don't have it coming up on you later. Okay, now we're going to fold it back a half inch again, or an inch again. That was an inch, so we're looking at a whole half an inch and an inch. Again, we might have got off a little bit, but it looks like we're right on the edge, so we're mighty fine there. Victoria would be pleased with me. Victoria poses to be a fashion designer herself. Of course, we all know she's not real. But ain't it fun? I mean, you go to Disney World, you think things are real there because they uh -oh. you think it's real. Okay, we had a glitch there. Like I said, we're all new at this. The phone decided to do something that we didn't want it to do. Yeah, we're taking a phone picture off the phone. Yeah. We do have a better video camera, we just haven't had time to work with it and set it up yet. And I got to download the software to make the thing work, so anyway, there you go. We don't have it set up. Okay, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over here to this old machine. And we're going to put your foot down. Literally. And we're going to run the sewing machine back and forth a little bit there. So we back stitch it. And we're going to come approximately a half. And I see a problem with the sewing machine. Oh, you got to love your sewing machines. They can get to be a problem sometimes. It come unthreaded. What happens here is this thing lets it go sometimes if it's too loose and it got too loose on me 
So we're going to put it back together. Hopefully it won't mess up. Okay. So we didn't really lose anything. We're going halfway down. We have got a lot of loose thread for some reason. I don't know exactly what's happening. Oh yeah, I do too. It has to be corrected here. Which is not wanting to be. All right, go around it. There. I should tighten it up a little bit. It's too loose. It's still way too loose. Okay, we don't know what's going on here. Thread is going into it nice and tight, so we are all right. On so try not to get off the line. Sometimes you have to hold it back here when you start getting to the end because it will get off the line. And again, when you get to that point, you want to back ditch and come off of it. scissors all right sure and with that we have the other half of the skirt or we'll have to do the same thing again we do have a few bunches in this one but as I said you can take it out with the iron but if you'll notice it did bunch right here so what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to iron that thing. It may take it out, it may not. It did not. So what happened here is probably the thread bunched up on us. And we will probably have to sew it over again because I probably broke the thread. And I did. Okay, so what we have to do now is we have to come back here and we have to sew it again. That was because the machine lost tension. Okay. This would probably not be the proper way to do it again. Because you're supposed to pull it out and redo it. I am having a lot of trouble with this machine tonight. It's not so long. It has not been used in a while, so that's probably one reason that it's that way. It's totally skipping stitches. Making it really difficult to make it look good. There's one that's sticking out. Sure, this does stay stretched out. Okay. Hopefully, everything is together. And done right this time, hopefully. Turn the sewing machine off. You always want to save your light bulb. 
haven't outpriced them lately, but they used to be pretty expensive. Probably get them pretty cheap now. Depends on what kind of light bulb you have to have. Okay, as you can see, we've got some mistakes here. It did bunch up on me again. We're going to try to take it out with the heat. Which it did do that, if you will notice. Okay, with that, we'll take a break and we'll be back hopefully to get the waistband done. Okay, here we are again. My wife says we need to show this. I was not going to do it, but she said we need to show the aspect of how important pinning is. Okay, what we're actually doing here is we're putting the waistband on. Hopefully you will not hear me get upset. Because <laughs> I do get upset with this. I do not like doing this. There's so much that can be put on wrong if you don't look out for what you're doing. You want to stay flat. No punches, no stuff like I just did. You don't want to do that. You want to keep the pins uniform so you don't get gaps. If you get gaps, it's going to look bad on the outside. So you keep it stretched. Keep it stretched. And see, I've got a gap there, so the gap has to come out. So to keep it stretched, we're going to put one right here. Now, folks, this is one place that I definitely expand to you that you should use pins. What we are doing here is we are putting the skirt up into the waistband. It has to go in flat. It may be looking rough on the outside, inside, but we are not worried about the inside. It's not going to be seen. Only the body will see that. And folks, it don't care. I know. A little many humor there. So you just move right on along. Now we will be probably putting a bottom layer on this skirt. But we will probably not do it on video for sake of time. But all we're going to do there is seam the bottom of the skirt. Is what you do if you was normally just through with it. But we're not going to be through with it, of course. We're going to put a bottom layer on it. It is one way to fix a skirt if you have made a boo-boo and made it too short. It also can be quite extravagant if you want to put a ruffle or a pleat on the bottom of your skirt. And by pleats, I'm talking a whole bunch of pleats, not just one pleat. Well, we won't go there. Pleats is another program. One of my teachers in college had to help me make pleats to a dress that I tried to make. Well, I say I tried to make it. I made it. It went in the fashion show. It had 
14 yards of pleats in it. My teacher thought I had gone crazy. <laughs> it happens. Okay. Don't stick yourself with a pin. Again, it doesn't feel good. I got a snicker out of my wife there. Okay, we're moving right on along here. I have noticed something that is fixing to come up that's going to be a problem. We have too much waistband for the skirt. And then again, by the time I get there, it may be straightened out. As you can see, I'm putting a lot of pins into this skirt. And right there was not a good idea because I did not flatten it out like I was supposed to. So it did not work. Now, and that is something you don't want to do either. Pin your pants to the skirt. I know the peanut gallery sure wanted to laugh then. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the old peanut gallery. We're getting closer to finishing this thing, folks. A lot longer video than what I anticipated. The one thing I've learned about designing, even though you plan it out, it don't always go right. My wife will vouch for that also. She's had to step many a times when I make mistakes and just keep her awake, you know. Okay. I'm hoping that the sewing machine will. We will probably be doing two stitches in this to make sure that we get the whole skirt seam done. Okay, as you see, folks, we have a problem here. We have too much waistband. Now this didn't come so much as from measuring. The problem here was that we brought the side seam of the skirt in causing this problem. So as you see we've got way too much out here. Okay so the way we're going to correct that is we are going to cut this off and we are going to have to turn it over like we did before. It's good I make mistakes sometimes because it shows you how to do it. it shows you You've got to watch what you're doing. I have a fan blowing on me and it's trying to take the cloth away. My wife thinks that's funny. Okay. Now, because we don't have the serger on, we're going to sew it. I only have so many plugs over here. Okay, so now we're going to just take the sewing machine and we have a problem with the sewing machine. As in, we just broke the thread. Okay, folks. I get to see a little bit of how to thread the sewing machine. So we're going to put that there. Like that. Gonna go through that. 
I'm going to go through that, take my foot off the pedal, goes through there, and then of course here's the fun, you got to thread the needle. Now folks, I don't like threading needles. I think it is in there. I just can't get a hold of it. Okay, there we go. What do you know? That don't happen very often. Usually have a fit. I will show you a trick though about that. I cannot see here. Okay. We're going to put it together again, hopefully. Okay, we got back stitch. And we're going to come across it again. And back stitch again. And then we're going to take it and make sure you cut it. It's the proper way to do it. Now we should be able to come over here and put this back together again. Always turn your sewing machine off if you want to save your light bulb. Now we want to see if we done it right. We could have messed up again. We could have. It does happen. And get upset, just do it. Like Nike. Let's do it. Okay. Looks like we did not get it done right. And then again, maybe we did. Just have to stretch it a little bit. Probably could have been done a little bit more. It can be done a little bit more so, as they say, back to the drawing board. In this matter, back to the sewing board. So we're going to come over just a little bit and do that over again. Just a few tiny little seconds of an inch. If there is such a thing. And there you go. So now we want to first of all find the first thread we sewed. If I could only see it. And cut it off. See if we can make this work. Okay, we do have a piece there that's working. And now it should go together right. Looks like it's going to work, but we're going to have to turn it over. And that is the way you would correct it if you did it wrong. See how much better that comes out there? Now you have to find the pins. And you're going to have to pin it again. You definitely want to pin it right here. Keep that thing in line. See, it's already got offline with me. There is a little notch there, but 
We won't worry about it. Yeah, we're peeing it again. And then we just simply sew it together. That is our next step to sew it together. Now you don't do this on a serger because you don't want it cutting out with you. Now my response on this one would be you have to sew it on the front make it look good but you want to come up enough to where you catch the back. If you don't catch the back you're going to have a mess. So I would say put it right on the edge you can sew over the pins, but again, not recommended. And we want to move the pin so we can keep it straight. Okay, so here we go. We have a problem with the sewing machine. I have a bunched up thread. With that, we will cut you off for right now. All right, folks, we're back. We have a few sewing machine problems. Hopefully it's straightened out. We are indeed stitching the skirt band to the skirt. Looks like it's going good. We're going to probably have to put another thread on the bottom to hold it right. Just basically for cosmetics purposes. And to hold the flap. Or we may indeed just have to uh, iron it down. See how we take the pins out to keep it flat and straight. And hopefully you're sewing right, which it looks like it's doing. We did find a few problems. Sewing machines can give you problems, folks. Like the sewing machine, still got a few problems going on here. And we just keep on sewing. Just like this song, we keep on dancing. We're just going to keep on sewing. We have another problem. So well. And folks, we probably will say goodnight to the, after this because we do have to hurry up and get this done. Basically what will happen next is there'll be 
a button put on the underneath of the skirt. When I get through showing, sewing this, I will show you how that works on the other skirt. And we may come back and show you the finished product when we get through. We're just going to get the band on here. And we'll basically show you how this is done. And then we will be through our video and for this segment. chairs in the way. Bumping my video person all around here. Okay, hopefully when you turn it on the back, it did catch it. It did a very sorry job of catching it though. As you can see, it's right on the edge. But it is sufficient. But because it is on the edge, we will run another line across it. Now, as I said, we're going to look at the other skirt here. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen here. This is the underside of the skirt. Or, excuse me, is that the oversize of the skirt? That's the front. You'll see she has a piece of Velcro here. And a button. So when this skirt comes around, it will come around like this. This part will go over the top of it like that and button into this button on the bottom of the skirt, therefore giving it a look like that. With that, folks, good night. Hello folks, uh, we're back. Uh, we got through with this skirt about two o'clock this morning. We had some problems with the sewing machine. This is a finished product that my wife is wearing. We're gonna zoom in now for a closer look. As you can see, the crosses are going down the side. And this is the other side. If you'll she'll turn around slowly, you can see the wrap around part goes around. Come back around to the wrap around part. Where we can show them on this side. Now pull your wrap around. See if she pulls it out a little bit. You can see how it works. We did do a little problem with the uh, print. We got it in the wrong spot. And this is my wife. Hi everyone. And she's going to show you how mine looks now. This is the shirt that goes with the skirt as you can see it matches that's one thing we love to do is match each other with different colors or same colors or whatever and this one was a prize winner in the fair of second place and on behalf of fashion out of the box and fashion toss style we wish you and your family happy easter